was night ah. and it was black. <laughs> and oh, I actually the, ran. The I ran away. against the sheep and I hurt myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the game started. Cooler and Matrox. Here we go. It's best of three. Two titans of the Quake Live dual scene. And right off the start, we can see the cooler is getting quite a decent start with the mega pickup. It's 59 armor to work with. And. Most of the weapons, apart from the rocket, so I guess he's going to be wanting to set himself up on this red. There's a huge time between red and, and mega. Both players should converge on the challenge here. We're actually dropping. This is good prediction, good, good, good prediction. read, but nothing is going to. Cooler cool knows Matrix has just taken the shaft. There he is. Shaft just spawns now. Still, Cooler has the weaponry advantage. He has got a rocket, and Matrix doesn't. That, what is Cooler doing? Some interesting dodges there. Very, very uh, patient on the rocket. Hitting, but uh, yeah, he, it looks like he's still playing with Matrix a bit. It looks like Kula is happy playing. Yeah, he's definitely got uh, somewhat of the advantage. It's kind of, it's kind of. Uh, I mean, the advantage is very small at the moment. It's, it's really going to just come down to these fights. Matrix with a bold move onto the red, but he takes a huge amount of perfect LG from Kula, and now he's in huge oh. amounts of trouble. That pixel rail to finish, and Kula makes the magic happen. And another frag. We and have a Kula frag. story instead of your sheep story. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Matrix couldn't even take the yellow and Kula is going straight for the spawn. Yep, very, very quick reaction by Kula hitting that oh, rocket. Oh, I love that. Such good reading by Kula here. I love that. It just looked like it was staged almost. Maybe it is. We didn't oh really know what was happening. When we were talking about farm animals, they could have been staging the entire duel. <laughs> Whilst we were doing that. Oh, oh my God, God, another rocket. rocket. Martrox is angry. That and rocket. Now oh actually cool on the back foot. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably... What, what can he do, actually? He has a rail. He's hitting one. And now it's all about getting to the red armor. And actually Martrox is taking the gamma cooler. Very, very patient. Missing the jump, though. Let's see if uh, Matrix actually knew that he missed that jump. Probably not. Yes. Very straight away. He's going aggressive. Mutual kill. Rocket to shaft kill. Whatever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With rocket to shaft kill. Whatever. <laughs> and now, five frags in the lead after two minutes. What a fast-paced uh, action, series of actions we've seen on Blood Run. But the thing is, is that Matrox can keep the pace high and can make it work. He's one of the very few players. Uh, Evil is another one to name that can actually make that style work. And against top, top tier players. Matrox, though, is against Cooler. Cooler, very experienced, one of the most famous Quake Live players of all time. And he's a Russian and he's on Blood Run. So this is his oh. own land. And Matrox is here to assault it. And Cooler's. Oh, he can't defend. The rockets from Matrox are brutal. And there is a the pickup at the red, but he's so low. He does find the 25. And I wonder how strong his setup will be on the next Mega, because actually, I mean, Mega and Red are spawning at the same time, so you predict that Matrox wants positioning around Mega, so we can deal damage upwards and then... Oh, there's so much damage dealt by Kula, he can definitely take the frag now. But he's still waiting, now he's gonna get a rail and has got a good angle on the Mega health here, denying, denying the Mega health, and let's see if he's actually even gonna take the Red Armor. Yeah, he just took the tally. He must be so stacked. Wow. Let's switch to Kula. Let's see very, what he's very doing. Stacked. He is well, he's stacked like a tank. It's not, not easy to stack though, but never tried. Matrox takes the bad rail there. Kula with interception. He finds Matrox lightning gun in hand. Matrox tracked with his back against the wall, but he manages a quick escape. And Kula is on the pursuit. But Matrox can still deal damage. But Kula just, he just executes him there with the close range point blank shotgun into the mega attack. Matrox could get this if he's careful, if he's fast, if he's quick. Oh, no. But there it is, he gets the pickup. Cooler is pushed to another engagement. And 56 points of health left for the Russian. This Look. is how you dodge. Cooler is just that so dodge. patient in fight. You know, he knows yeah. he can't hit the, 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 the full rockets. And he's just so good with his rocket skill in, in close combat. It's just very, 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 uh, yeah. It's, I'm highly enjoyed. There you go. Six frag difference. Matrox, I mean, he's still making a really good game of this, even though it's such a big difference. Unconventional difference on a map like Blood Run. But again, he's someone that can be comfortable in this spot. He's someone that knows how to deal with it. And we're approaching the halfway mark. And Matrox just needs that one big frag, that one huge series of hits that Cooler will deny him once again. Onto this oh, red. Oh, Matrox is still there. You could Ouch. hear his rail on humming and... Did he receive some damage from that nade there? That nade almost killed him. Gave him 70 damage. 
Is that almost a full damage nade? This is not good for my trucks. And actually, he's hitting. Receiving another raid. Cool is setting a trap. Let's see what's happening here. Did, what is Matrix going to do? Is he actually trying to get the red armor? If he's very, very quick, he could do that, but it's very, very hard to read the situation. He's probably over at the Mega Health, just took it, and Cooler now not happy. What is he going to do? Definitely Cooler is not happy about that, but he's happy about a six frag lead on Blood Runner. Cooler's a guy that's comfortable playing a one frag lead and not trying to even extend it. He's that patient, he can be that steely in his resolve. But here is Matrox, that's a great opening engagement for the pole with a quick switch onto the rail. It was amazing until Kula decided to do the same and connected. It could have been an advantage for Matrox, but Kula with clutch rail is going to hold off Matrox for another minute or so. Yeah. And Red is in 10 seconds. I wonder what kind of play Matrox is going to look at next. He does pick up some shards. He's not so unhealthy with another yellow. Oh, Cooler with a great trap onto Matrox. Matrox returns damage well, but he is so critically low here. And the lightning gun will finish him off. And the plasma jump up to the red. Leaves Cooler with a decent stack to defend or even attack into this mega. Yeah, into this mega. And there's nowhere... Matrox can't really defend this. I mean, he can be happy if he does some good damage here. And actually, Matrox nearly landed on that Mega Health. But Kula switching to Plasma Gun, di dishing out a lot of damage. And still, Kula is very comfortable on this red, dodging even the rockets on the platform. But finally going down to Max's rocket. And Max was just leaving the red as it was spawning. Um, rocket jumping up again. And now it's all about Matrox collecting the weapons. And he actually, there was actually a shaft lying. And there you this go, is Matrox. really, really good. If he hadn't had that shaft, Kula would be in a very, uh, in a better position, definitely. So Matrox has been able to actually get a really good positioning out of this. Yeah, Kula has trapped now. Let's not count Matrox out. Oh, great rocket into the face of Kula. That was really cheeky there. And Matrox going to rocket jump up. Kula coming in from the plasma spawn. And oh, he misses the rail. And he's got to be under pressure now because Kula could go for a crazy aggression. There it is. But Kula doesn't connect. This is the in for Matrox as he picks up this yellow now. And with three minutes to go, Matrox only has to get five frags. Matrox can definitely do this. Never count out the Polish power of speed. Never count him out. He's yeah. creeping around the upper levels now. Kula is at the railgun trying to hide. Kula is basically just trying to hide in here, sound, sound cues, to make sure he can avoid Matrox. He knows Matrox will commit fully if he can find him. And there is the pickup of the Mega. Cooler picks up the, the red, and there's no damage received from Matrox. Matrox, huge blunder there. Hit, uh, missing those shots. The faltering execution could just bite him um, badly now because at this stage issue with two minutes left, you cannot afford to make a miss. No. Matrox, I like when Matrox is in control and he sees an opportunity, he rushes really fast and gets a frag to convert it really quickly. But right now, two minutes. Ah, uh, this is really difficult. But Kula has got a stack where he can, you know, he can play defensive with the stack he has right now, and even has got time to lay some nades there. And Marcos doesn't really have the time to, you know, afford staying too long on the items. He has to do even the drastical measures of taking the rocket jumps, trying to intercept Kula here. Cooler around the, yeah, just dodging everything basically, just using using the map to his advantage. Definitely. He is doing so. I mean, playing defensively on this map, it's something he's got lots of experience doing. It's, it's one of the easiest maps to play defensively. It's so hard to get it. Opponents. Look at that rocket jump from oh, Kula. And another again, one. This could be a damaging mistake for Kula. Oh, no. oh but Matrox misses the shot. Wow. Kula with, the, um, I would say, almost arrogant play there. And un it's unfortunate the match just could not capitalize. Yeah, uh, it was so fortunate for Kula that the 25 HP bolts were actually there, uh, there and he could fall into them and back into them up so much and it just left Matrox to, you know, hit even more. But right now, Kula is on fire, hitting all the great shots and always seems when you when you see him play, like, it, it seems when he plays it against Matrox, he's always one step ahead. Like, you, you've seen him um, play some, you know, traps at the Red Armor yeah. um, near, the, near the Tele exit, just waiting for Matrox to do his move and then following up with some shots, so it definitely looks like Cooler is uh, fully aware of how Matrix's playstyle is. That's very true, and moving on to the next map. I wonder whether Matrox is going to be able to come back. I hope he can, because I actually really love to watch him play, but Cooler is also as beautiful to watch when he's playing. 
when he's when he's hitting his form and so on. And if he could take another tournament, I mean, I mean actually, Cooler doesn't need, need to take another tournament. He just needs to make deep runs at this point because he's already got, he's already on the top of the leaderboard with the points. Yeah. Did you know he he played against? No, he was supposed to play against Kilson. Uh, I think it was uh, was uh, was another cap, and uh, Kilson was ill, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And he couldn't take that match, so the Kilson said, "Okay, you can take a death win." And Kula was like, "I don't need free wins. I don't need free wins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need free wins." <laughs> Are you making fun of my English? No, I wasn't making fun of your English. I was making your story more real, more authentic. Okay. By providing the <laughs> the proper noises. Yeah, the proper mm -hmm. sounds. <laughs> from my mouth. I see where you're going. Okay. Okay, w which is uh, the they second map? They want to switch server first. Okay. Um, Matrix doesn't like the server. They're going to switch, maybe, mm. maybe. I we mean, don't know. Cooler just played with a minor ping disadvantage, but that conversation is always, you know, can go back and forth and who can yeah. have an advantage with what, with what ping and how. what is he accustomed to? I, I have something more um, important to ask you, though, which okay. is... What is the best way to deal with mosquitoes? Because it's become summer now, and I'm getting bitten all over. Just like um, you probably everywhere. have, you probably have uh, sweet blood. Sweet blood. <laughs> no, it's is there an animal it, on, there's on it's your a saying. I don't know. It's a this. saying in German. Like when you have sweet blood, you're attracted by mosquitoes. Huh. I think it helps to eat, uh, you know, food that feces. <laughs> no, but there isn't like don't you have like you have to eat like like onions and stuff so that your food smells bad or something i don't know you okay <laughs> it has to do with it right, i'll try it. With i'll try anything yeah, anything you say you seem yeah. like a very credible man <laughs> i'll try anything you say you i know my way around food yeah we've talked about food and i, I mean, know what's good because I, I was under the assumption if you have all these animals i haven't to take been care stung of. yet i haven't been stung yet really no you. but i live basically next to the ceiling so <laughs> next to the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> hmm, okay I don't know how that means. No, I don't know. I don't know maybe it. it's just <laughs> they can't fly that high. <laughs> they, can't, <laughs> they can't reach me here. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. So they're switching server, and so really, I mean, because I would expect you have all these animals and they <laughs> get bitten and stuff, and that's not nice for them. So yeah. maybe you would have a method to help them, but I, I guess, just I, guess not. I just move when I try when animals try to bite me. You just don't care. Cows have really long tongues. And they, so they, they, they don't bite you. Well. They don't bite you, but they like <laughs> come <back> on cows <laughs> again. <laughs> they try to like you know <laughs> with your, with their tongue. Yeah. They try to take you with your tongue and like <laughs> take you in. <laughs> they have massive tongues. It's insane, oh dude. I know. It's I, insane. I've, I've seen because I live in the Such countryside. Such a huge muscle. It is. Yeah. It's the strongest muscle as well. Yeah. In the human in, body. In the human body. Too. Rel relative. My dentist always complained about that. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, your mouth is too small and you have a strong tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, I don't That's sorry. awesome. Alright, what's happening with this <laughs> game? We need to be saved by Quake because it's too good. This oh is good. awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I love how it's like the meaning of life is just cows. No, really, it's not. It just comes back. And you know, I, I can I can uh, sympathize or empathize with your position in fact because I lived in the countryside for many years, and there's many cows around. Mm, horses? Did you ever have any horses on your farm? Uh, yeah, horses. Um, what was their purpose? I, I was <laughs> I was once bitten by a horse, so my whoa. Yeah, yeah, dude. It it bit me in the finger and just tried to pull me over the fence because I was. Did it too really like you or really no, hate you? No, I was just too stupid to give it food. <laughs> so you I just basically open it your hand. I basically like you <laughs> this know is food. Like, this is food, you know. This is food. I, I was young. I was stupid. I had to learn. Okay. <laughs> gotta yeah, learn that. But that's yeah, it's a terrible story. Yeah, with, they don't, with, they don't with, know about the theor horses. theoretical food that yeah. doesn't exist in this plane of existence that you're offering. But No, but uh, yeah. Okay, do we have a server? Not yet. No server yet. So Cooler and Matrix are still sorting out their next server. And we're, we're going strong at farm hit farm it here <laughs> we're enjoying <laughs> the farm farm talk yep we have the yep, follow yep. button right there for all of your up-to-date information on everything to do with farms and we cows, might livestock even we should maybe add another animal because we got pikachu i don't know if mm. yeah but i think true. it's really hard to replace him but he i still love the cat posture trick there's something about it that is that seems it is quite, and quite it's alluring. so nice it is really nice <laughs> I'm fearing. I'm, I'm so sincere, and yeah. he can't believe it. He can't believe it. I cannot believe it. 
Uh, I, I think that there, there's some guys out there. They have played Quake and they they know but how th it there's is. There's the there's the risk though. It's a double-edged sword. I mean, your posture gets helped, but you have this cost of your equipment gets ruined. Because I know a lot of people, the cat will just jump on. No, the it's it's forbidden. On the it's forbidden to go the on the desk. Pad. Do, you, do you, how do you how do you how do you control the cat? How well, do you teach it what's, th what's That was right quite lucky wrong. because the cat wasn't really interested in me being cat, uh, in me playing Quake, but just thing. me sitting down. This is the thing with dogs and cats, okay? Yeah. So cats have no system of morality. However, dogs, True. they do because it's quite clear because if a dog does something and it knows it's wrong, it, you can see how guilty it looks. Mm. But mm. a cat's just like, just does stuff. Just doesn't give a shit. It's like... That's true. It's true. Doesn't care. How, so how do you... Can, how do you... How do you influence its... its uh, Whatever it does. Yeah. And stop it ruining your stuff, your gaming stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, no. But uh, these days, I, I just, uh, yeah. Don't I don't, I don't, don't at the violence. moment, I don't have any animals. Don't uh, say the, any, the, the oldest thing I probably have in my, 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 in my living room that reminds me of the cat is the, my CR, CRT. Ah. So she left me, but I still got the CRT she used to play on with. <laughs> me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's good. I like CRTs. I'm happy. Oh, Lost World. CRTs are, I miss CRTs. Yeah. Because I don't know if people know this, uh, but like CRTs like are instantaneous. There's will mm. never be any input There's delay. There's no latency. Yeah. There's no input delay and at all. But with CRTs, there will always be yeah. some input delay. And if you ask players, like there's going to be a LAN party and you say, okay, you know what? We got 20 CRTs, yeah. top notch, still fully functional. Wow. They will say, yeah. I'm going to oh play yes. on the CRT. But obviously, they're very clunky. They're not very uh, energy efficient. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, really. But for me, I'm, I'm really used to playing with them. Yep. And we are, we are ready on the server. Okay. Matt was just called for three minutes. So mm -hmm. however will we kill time? I, don't I just know. don't no, know. It's OK. We, we, can maybe, we can maybe play about, uh, talk about the map a bit. Yeah. I don't want to bore uh, people with, uh, yeah, what is CRT? Some people ask what a CRT is. It's a cathode ray tube. Exactly. That means anything it's to an you. abbreviation for the uh, for the yeah the, the technical term that describes how the how that actually works, it's right? Like three like tubes that shoot light. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. It's pretty cool. And if you like smash a monitor or drop yeah. it from a big height, it will implode. It, uh, it's quite dangerous, those actually. are these, these uh, you know these yellowish uh, monitors that look really ugly. Those yeah. are CRTs because they used to be white, and then when you smoke or when you I don't smoke, but. Yeah. After a while, they just get they get a really really ugly color. Yeah. Um, but they're they're great, you know. They, you can sometimes get them oh. on, on eBay. But the game is going, is on, going the on the way. Yeah. Semi final take between away. Cooler and Matrox, and this is going to be a cracking match between these two. Cooler won Blood Run from Lost World, which was a map that was highly anticipated for both of us. And can Cooler do it against the pole? It's a great this start is, for Matrox. This is good for He's Matrox. He's speeding yeah. away to the lightning gun. This is a big start. How can Cooler defend against this? Let's see if he can catch him up at the 20, uh, 50 HP bubble. No, Cooler's already over there, taking the rocket launcher, diving down. Maybe, yeah, Cooler, if, if Cooler gets an, another red here, this could be really good. But he just was opting to do, to do you know, taking, taking the LG because he definitely needed that in the next fight. And right here, that advantage of the LG is now gone. For Matrox and Kuda does have an uh, armor advantage. Will Matrox drop for the attack or maintain position? He keeps the position. Kuda is like, okay, Kuda, you can take Mega, no problem. This is I so, don't care. This I'll is so interesting because I, I sort of, I thought Matrox would actually be able Challenge. to take the the Mega health. Yeah, he could have rocket jumped up and then you know went to the rocket again and then taken the shaft fight. You would have had a good stack to work with. But there, there is that kind of school of thought where it's like. It's early in the game. Mm -hmm. Let's play passive mm -hmm. and safe and not take any risks and just see who makes the first mistake. Yeah. Maybe that was it, but I don't know. I kind of agree with you, but yeah. Also, the um, Matrix had a really bad spot on Zetian, but right Ouch. now, so much damage dealt by Cooler. Free frag. He couldn't even turn around. He was dead already. That was a free frag. And Cooler's gonna take. That was a lot of. Uh, that was an insane quantity of plasma damage from Matrox. In fact, uh, Matrox dealt like 143 damage there with the plasma. And Kuda from above now. Oh no, oh, the wow. full rocket. The full rocket. Not even a steal. Matrox is not pleased with that. This is what Kula does so much. He rocket jumps up there to get high positioning again, but he takes a while <laughs> this time. It is such a nice trick because you get on the upper level so quickly. 
and uh, it just saves so much more time. It it's does. Definitely good to do that. You know, we should have checked our demographic before talking about CRTs, because anyone oh, okay. <laughs> um, after 1990 before doesn't know what it is. Okay. Anyway, I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> We're so old these days. But anyway, um, moving back into the game, it is a free frag lead for Kula now, and he's still got a very dominant stack, and we've yet to really see Matrox participate in the game. Like he, he hasn't done anything yet. Yeah. He's just been caught out, free frag, free frag. That exchange of damage for Kula was highly favorable. It, there was no return really from Matrox. Gets caught again. another free Such frag. This even when this starts to happen to top level players, they start to this this is a way to break them mentally. And it's it's a way where you like I wouldn't be surprised to see Matrox just quit after like two minutes. Oh like no, he's actually taking the Megal. This is great, but Kula hitting a facial rocket here. Oh on another no. one. one HP and he does so it. So frustrating. Kula only having one HP and doing insane. so much damage. I can't believe Matros came back with all of that that power, that power, that damage, and still the one HP. Oh my goodness! If he had known, he would be raging. Oh, good plasma gun. Kula switching to the LG definitely has got the upper hand. He dealt like 60, 60, uh, 60 damage with the plasma gun and then switching to shaft, just so much damage. Um, Matrox didn't expect and uh, this is looking really, really grim for Matrox here. I think he had the right approach in the beginning, taking it slow, like you said, just you know, making sure I take the fight that I actually want to. But it's just slowly, slowly gripping away and, and Cooler just hitting really rockets that probably Matrox is not expecting is really throwing him off this game. Definitely. It's it's one of those situations where everything goes right for one player and everything goes wrong for the other. And, and once again, Kula one step ahead. <laughs> Great trap here and Matrox will take so much damage taking this item. I hope for Matrox's sake that he does manage the luck kind of swings around in his favor a little bit because so we can get back into this game. Yeah. And he's definitely see. someone that can, can maintain his composure. He probably has like 100, 100. He has like, he's got the shards and probably got the yellow over at the shaft. So let's see what he can actually do. If he can maybe sneak into... Now, nah, attacking the red armor would be probably a bit too early right now. But uh, this is good positioning. Trying to deny Kula, you know, a free yellow. But oh, this is very aggressive push. Kula actually in a very bad spot there. We couldn't, couldn't get out of there, but still. Kula having the advantage of going to the 50 HP and Matrix is so low, still trying to look for damage. That's so true. And we're almost halfway into this and a seven frag deficit on this world is on this lost world is very huge. But Matrix does find a nice engagement. You can see how smart he is there. He takes some free damage and as soon as he realizes Kula can return it, he backs away. And so he gets a free exchange. But he's, he's working with so little here, it's very difficult trying to connect anything. But here comes Kula on the aggression. But Kula fades away, fades back again, back onto the items, back his responsibility, back onto those uh, onto those resources as he takes away another yellow. And Matrox needs at least one of these yellows every 25 seconds or a steal on a big item. He's waiting yep. on the red. And the, one, the other thing that he needs is the mega time because out of control, your goal is to build up, build up, build up. And with a mega time, you can what make are you a play. Kula Cooler is, uh, is experimenting. Yep. He's a scientist right now. And and Matrox does steal the red. Finally, this somehow. is good for Matrox. A mistake from Cooler, I'd say. An opportunity, maybe the only opportunity for Matrox. Here he goes, the LG engagement. Incredibly good for Cooler at the start, though. Cooler Rocker jumps up to deny another yellow. And that's even trying to deny the second yellow. But Matrox, oh, mutual great. kill. Finally, this is good for Matrox. He's got a fresh start. And actually, he's got to get, a, got to get the, <coughs> <laughs> the better start here. And can actually... Ah, oh, he's still... Oh no, this is bad. Cooler can get on the red. Cooler using the shaft so well, actually. Ah, uh, uh, this was such a tough decision for Matrox. Yeah. Do they go to the Mega and, and get the red as well? And have like a really, really huge stack? He, he tried to take yeah, both I don't know. and it, it was so, so tough. He's, he's just in so many hard spots in this game. Oh, Cooler with the trap, he's hiding <laughs> in the corner. Hops up. Hop, hop. Doesn't find Matrox just yet. Matrox drops. Oh, he, I think he's trying to get onto the red, but he misses it. And again, Kula just gets open. Every, almost, I think, every single fight, Kula yep. gets the first damage. Yep. And it's, again, everything going right for Kula, everything going wrong for Matrox. And at this point, he probably feels like it's too difficult to come, come back. And it's three minutes left and nine frags in Lost World. Giving us essentially a quick, a quick 2 0 situation in this uh, semi final. Sorry, quarter final, quarter final. 
The winner of this, of course, does go into the semi-final to play against Pony, which would give us, uh, you know, we'll have Pony probably cooler in the, in the one semi-final and even Pavel in the other. So we've got a lot of really good games and Pavel, uh, to his, uh, his path was he had to beat Luke in the round of 16. He then beat Vaxxin 2-0 in quarters mm -hmm. and he has to face Demon. And Demon's form looks amazing. So I'm very excited about the Pavel-Demon match. Yeah. The Matrix is at least getting something back here. And he will probably make another frag. I don't know. He's got cooler, a little bit trapped, but how much does he want to commit to it when everything's spawning? Ah, okay, finally, go. very good rocket. And he's not even dropping down to the red armor. He's just looking to deny the yellows and then, you know, go go over there. But this could even re could turn out really bad because Cooler was about to drop down to the red armor, but uh, Matrox was a lot quicker and could use the LG to just deny that option. And yeah, six more frags, two yeah. minutes. Indeed, six more frags in two minutes on Lost World against Cooler. Hmm, would never bend any money on it, but. Uh, it's I, I think Matrox has got the right approach, you know, he, he, he always wants to make sure that Cooler only gets one yellow and this gave him enough time to just safely even take the red and now it's all about him being very very aggressive. Yeah, and he, can, he is a guy that's really comfortable in that situation, unlike maybe Agent we saw before, Matrox can do it. Let's see, here he goes, jumps in, Cooler's waiting below. He, oh, he jumps to, to basically bait Cooler to go the low route, but Cooler doesn't bite. So that's really, really smart from Cooler to make that read. Cooler no because the thing, the thing is, is that Cooler knows he just needs to hide. At this yep. point. He just needs to hide in kill time and he wins the game. So that's what he's doing. He's just making as much of the delay as possible. When he dies, he'll probably slow spawn as well. Yeah, he's slow spawning. Oh, okay, after two seconds he spawns, but still. Matrox has a lot. Oh, he's gonna oh, actually. You could maybe get a kill here. here. But this is so. The plasma gun can be so, so, so dangerous in that yeah. position. We've have seen so many moments oh where you actually God, can turn this time. around with. But yeah, six frags. Uh, three six frags. Three frags. This is quite doable. With a quick spawn frag after one, this is quite doable. Cool is moving over to the lightning gun. And Matrox has to know that he's there. This is going to be really. He has to intercept it in between, yeah. It's always this spot. And oh, we're just going to jump for the red. No, he knows. But the situation—he's going to drop for it, force to go through the teleport. The cooler's there on the fight. He wants just to damage Matrox, and he Matrox gets the kill. But he's left so weak. This is cooler's decision is Oh, play. this is enough damage. One HP left, and the 50 HP bubble is probably not there. No, it was just Surely taken beforehand. This is not going to happen. Ooh. He can get Mega. He just has to get one kill and get lucky with the spawn frag. But he has to be basically rocket jumping and hit perfectly. Here he goes. Uh, cooler already waiting, yeah. anticipating the rocket jump. Just brilliant. And Matrox is uh, missed. Smart play, and that's going to be GG call from Matrox. He does manage to get it to a two frag difference at the end, but Cooler with a quick 2 0 sweep in the quarterfinals of this ninth Sunday Cup for the spring season, brought to you by Face It. He's going to move into the uh, semi finals against Pony, and we also have Pavel and Demon in the other semi finals. We'll go to a quick break, guys, when we come back. Remember to hit that follow button, to visit Face It Common YouTube for our YouTube content, to register on Face It so you can participate in all of our tournaments and register and so on. We'll see you after the break with more awesome Quake Live action here from me, DDK, and Issue.